Are you ready for a live stream of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time for Super Nintendo? We got the box. All oh, can you even see? Let's make it bigger. Webcam. Turtles in Time for Super Nintendo. One of the best games, one of the best beat em ups out there. By the way, I absolutely love this box art. Look at that. Can I, if I cannot get glare on it. Ah, it's just all glare. There you go. Such awesome box art. I would love to have like a poster of that box art and I'd put it right here. Although I wouldn't want to cover up Elvira. Hmm. When they named the game after me, it had to be built. Alright. You were just watching the Jelly Mario, that game's so stupid. I it's so dumb, but like I would want them to make uh make more levels. It's stupid though. Alright. Let's get back to Turtles in Time here. How you doing, Squidgrass? <laughs> Squidgrass says, don't cover up Elvira. Please don't cover up Elvira. I agree. I agree. Alright, so we're gonna get this started in a second. It's classic. Hey, thank you, games and movies enter. Wish night, cowbunga. By the way, what an awesome intro. Everything about this is just awesome. This game is just awesome. <laughs> Heroes in the half shell, turtle power. You're wondering when I make the jump to Twitch? Well, it had YouTube not been so laggy. But anyhow, we're going to get this going here. Let me do one thing. You love me some Turtles in Time. Turtles in Time. I remember playing it on the boardwalk and uh, the arcade machine. For one thing, I just remember walking up to it and seeing, like, I didn't know it existed because there was the, uh, the Turtles in Time arcade machine, which I had played and played and played, and then all of a sudden, you know, back then, you didn't have the internet, so you didn't know, and then I walked up and I'm like, whoa, what is this? This is a new Ninja Turtles arcade game, and it was like, oh my god, it was mind-blowing. But, this is a great port of the game. I think I might prefer the arcade game, actually, with the voices that are in it, even though um, this is such a good port, and I think, I believe this one has more levels, right? I, like, the Neon Knight Riders, I think, is not in the arcade game, but either way, both awesome. Hey, Dirk Chris, 1986. Dirk Chris! Or the Pinball Machine, yeah! Don't cover up Elvira. Oh, are you talking about the Elvira pinball machine? Oh yeah, that, that's an awesome pinball machine. Wait, you weren't playing? No, that wasn't me. <laughs> I haven't started yet, Bradley Rue. I'm about to start the game in a second. That was the demo. That's funny. Alright, but I am going to start the game. So here we go. Let's uh, get it going. Didn't know you streamed. You didn't know I streamed, uh, Nico? I've been streaming since 2015. So, <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Oh, the, okay. Alright, here we go. So, you know, in the other game, um, the arcade game, I usually play as Wrath, because I like his, like, double button attack, his, you know? the harder attack, but with this game I tend to go for Donatello, because he has the longer weapon. And speaking of ma making weapons longer, here we have April O'Neil looking very uh, robust. Hi Elvira. <laughs> you missed this game? This game's so good. And look at that frame right there. I think I drew that frame in uh, our Mario Paint video for James and Mike Mondays several years ago. 
Bing Apple, 3 a.m. Great voices. Here we go. So now I'm actually playing. It's no longer the demo. <laughs> Can't go wrong with turtles in time. One of the best beat em ups. I've said this many times, but I, I believe my favorite beat em up of all time is actually that Dungeons and Dragons game. But this might be my second, although um, I will say Streets of Rage is pretty darn good. Streets of Rage 2. So it's probably between those three. Uh, Simpsons Arcade Machine is also, also really good. Um, but, you know, they're, they're all, they're all fun. You're watching late 90s Cartoon Network bumpers on YouTube, good memories, yeah. I love old bumpers like that. Do you guys remember the USA Cartoon Express? That's nostalgic, I want to check out those ads. Now if you push forward with these guys, if I can do it. You can throw them at the camera, which is always really cool. And you can also do that. Pizza time coming up. And we gotta blow up that barrel. Come on. Boom, take a few of those guys out that way. I guess I'll grab the pizza before it's off screen. Pizza time! Throw you at the camera. Throw you at the camera. Can I throw you at the camera? Not quite. Oh, I guess if it's left, you bounce them back and forth, and if it's right, you throw them at the camera. Oh, or not. Krang's Android Body! Krang's Android Body was... It came out later. The original Krang was in the little, uh... What's it called? In the little, like, robot thing. The little robot walker. I wonder if there's a name for that thing. But uh, I really wanted Krang in the robot body, and I remember going into Woolworths many years later and seeing Krang's robot body and just being like, oh my god. I couldn't believe it existed. I feel like that might have even got released after the third movie or something. Might not have been that late, but it was, it was later on. lasers didn't show up. Um, well, my stream's on 60 frames per second. Um, perhaps, perhaps the console isn't. Um, may have set it up a little bit wrong. It's possible. But the stream should be 60. 60. Thanks, uh, Poldera Val. It is me, Retro Revelations. How you doing? Thanks for checking out my stream. All right, here comes Baxter. He looks awesome, by the way. I want like a fucking painting of him. The sprite version of him. This game's so colorful and awesome. I think I just like games sometimes for when they're just colorful. Like I was playing. Mr. Do the other night. It was a colorful game, that is. It, it helps. You know when you're playing like Link to the Past, the overworld, how colorful that is? Maybe another reason I like it. That hand. That hand is dangerous. Watch out. Oh, you think that's funny? You think that's funny? I'll show you. You don't screw with Donatello. I'm gonna get... Pizza time. Pizza time. Boom! And he's gone. You actually, in the arcade game, you get the human version of Baxter going around in his little flying device. Has a decision considering playing Brutal Mario been made? 
Um, I could definitely do it. Um, I gotta see if there's another save slot, because I don't want to save over when James and I were playing. I think there probably would be. I just gotta double check, because usually in Mario World, there's, there's three, but it's a hack, so I, I gotta look. But, um, I might. I might do that. I've been playing uh, Celeste, which is an awesome game. Um, I just got through the Pico section of it, which is like the game in-game. There's like an arcade game of like a uh, old arcade game in the game, and it's it was really cool. I just so I just beat that, which is tough, but definitely really cool. I would really recommend that game. It's on Steam. If you want to play it, I obviously recommend this game if you haven't played it. And there's also the Hyperstone Ice, which I get down to this. Um, I've obviously been playing a lot of Dark Souls lately. I'm doing the Pyromancy run. And what else have I been playing? I played a really stupid ass game called Jello Jelly Mario, which is just. It's stupid. It's one of those jerk kind of games. And what else did I play? Um, I played Mr. Do, which is for Super Nintendo. Not the arcade game, the Super Nintendo port of it, which is really, really, um, really good. I love Mr. Do. One of my favorites. It is a uh, sort of clone of uh, Dig Dug, for sure, but um, I like it a little bit better, personally, so I've been playing that. And, yeah, there's a lot of things I've been playing. I have a few games recommended to me that I should play. Um, so, let me just pause real quick. What was that game somebody recommended? Oh, by the way, Mr. Dude was on Neo Geo, too, which I wanted to uh, get. Um... I thought I had written down a game somewhere that somebody recommended. I have, I have like, uh, notes in front of me for, like, when people recommend things to me on stream, because I've noticed that, like, people will recommend things and I need to, like, write it down, otherwise I might forget, so. But if you guys do have any good game recommendations, I'm all ears. Oh, and you know what I actually just played? I almost forgot. I just played Thundercats, uh, which was like a revamped remake of the Commodore 64 game, I believe, which I didn't know when I was playing it. But um, and I thought it was similar because I had played the uh, Thundercat Commodore game a long, long time ago. But yeah, it's like a revamped version of that, which I still feel like there's other things that could definitely add to it. But it's cool that they revamped it. So you can check that out, it's on Cinemasker Plays. Just uploaded that. And these are the Roadkill Rodneys, where their names, I believe, unless I'm getting it mixed up with something else, but I think these guys are Roadkill Rodney, which is, hey, I get no respect. Rodney Dangerfield was a funny, funny comedian. One of my favorites of all time. Sometimes people ask me what my favorite stand-up stand-ups are. Um, George Carlin, Rodney Dangerfield, are high on my list. Big fan. I actually saw George Carlin live uh, once I got the opportunity. Long, long time ago. But he did his uh, same act that he did uh, with like sort of a, a New York City background that he did on HBO. And it was hilarious. He was amazing. Alright. We're gonna screw this guy up. This guy's also awesome. I had the action figure in him. I had the majority of the Turtles action figures, I was really into it. I love the sewer playset, the Tekken Drone. There was the uh, the module, which was pink and had like all drills on it and shit. Uh, there was the pizza thrower, there was the turtle van. So good. And the, oh, you know what else there was? The blimp, which I don't know if they show the blimp in this game. They probably do. Um, I gotta get up to that pizza if I can. Please get me up to that pizza. Okay, good. Um, but the blimp toy just fell apart. Um, or I shouldn't say fell apart, but it uh, it got a hole in it, and apparently those got holes in them easily. And I remember putting tape on the on the blimp to try to keep it pumped up. We are here to pump you up. Donatello is the best character in every Retro Turtle game. Um, I, I do prefer Raphael in the in the other one. 
George Carlin was a genius. Yeah, Ronnie was the man. So you guys seem to agree on that. Boom. Made it to the summit in Celeste. Only 2,094 deaths. Use wrath on this game. Says Gohan. So for when this does go on YouTube, if you'd like to follow me on Twitch, my Twitch is Mike McKay Live, and obviously you can see it on the side of the screen, I put a little logo on there. These sections are always fun. The, uh, the other game, uh, actually I guess it's the Manhattan Project, has sort of a jumping section with like the helicopters. Extra life. Pizza? Oh, it's up there, but I missed it. Oh, shit. Pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza shit. Alright, we're gonna be coming up to... Oh, almost. First we got these... Uh, monsters from... These were actually in the cartoon. In an episode. Um... I think they had something to do with pizza too, some sort of like pizza alien monster or something. I can't quite remember what the plot of that episode was. I did watch the entire series of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, back when we did the reviews of the Ninja Turtles series. So there was 10 seasons of the show, oh, and we also did like a DVD thing on all the DVDs. But uh, it's a little, uh, it gets to be a uh, pretty repetitive show after a while, but, um, I mean, the plots are generally the same. Shredder has some sort of bad scheme going on that he's, you know, trying to, trying to accomplish. That's pretty much how it goes. Shit. He's gonna kill me, huh? My toes! My toes! The rat can. They never got the racking into any of the movies, huh? Not yet, at least. I don't know if they're making any more of those. Shoot, those like Michael Bay ones. Kind of hope not. <laughs> not a big fan of the newer Ninja Turtle movies. And uh, the new, the new one did get, uh, the second one did get like Krang in there, which I was sort of happy about, but I don't know. And it did have Bebop from Rocksteady, which is good, and it had. It had a lot of the characters from the cartoon, which was good, but the the way they executed it was poor. And also, the Technodrome was like this flying fucking thing, which I guess was from one of the cartoons, but I think it should have came out of the ground. You suddenly want pizza too. God, I love this game and soundtrack. Oh, that's the Technodrome. That's what I'm talking about. That's what it should look like. Come on. Come on, Michael Bay. Let's kick shell! As a kid, I thought this was the last stage. <laughs> yeah. You would think, right? But then we haven't gone back in time yet. Have we? And the whole back in time thing is interesting because uh, I guess you know Shredder. Shredder also sends his foot soldiers back in time, but um, so he sends you back in time. But after you defeat a boss, you go forward in time, which I feel like doesn't make a lot of sense. I think. I'm gonna pause this for one second. I think how they could have actually improved this game is that I think so. Sh so Shredder sends you back in time, but then I guess I can keep going and explain this. But Shredder sends you back in time. He sends the turtles back in time um, to get them out of his hair, basically, so that he can take over the world. But like, he, then he also sends Foot Soldiers and you know Bebop and Rocksteady and all these you know minions back to also stop you. But the only thing that I feel like doesn't make sense is like, after you beat a boss, you just like instantly get transported 
forward in time. And I feel like there should be like a device. Like I think you should see some kind of machine that Shredder is sending. Like when you, basically when you get to the end of a level where a boss is, there should be some sort of, sort of like time portal or something that each of the bosses brings with them. Like when Bebop and Rocksteady are there, like they should have a time portal. And then after you defeat them, it like opens and you go through it because you know, do you know what I'm saying? Because there's no like device. You just like magically travel through time. When when you do it here in the Technodrome, you actually go through a thing, and that's like it makes sense here on this stage, but it doesn't make sense in the rest of the game. So that's my <laughs> that's the complaint I have for Turtles in Time. That's my that's my one minor nitpick after playing this game 80 billion times. I don't know, what do, you, what do you guys think about my nit, my nitpick? I mean, it's stupid, I know I'm nitpicking, but I don't know, I think that's a little improvement they could have made, because it doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe I just think too much about these games. <laughs> you can just walk over it. Which Knight says, LOL, Mike. <laughs> Dirk Chris says, don't ever think about video game logic. I guess that's true, too. Cow fucking piece of dog shit. All right. Video game logic. I don't want that to go off screen. Uh, games and movies. Um, yeah, I just started streaming on Twitch again after after quite a while. So if you haven't, you know, if you didn't know I was on Twitch, that's you know not a big surprise. I, uh, I made this count about two years ago, but I barely used it. Alright, this is always a cool part. Take them all out. Although you wish it was more powerful foot soldiers you were killing. More annoying ones. Some of these foot soldiers can be kind of annoying later on. And then we get into the rock warriors and everything. General Trag. Alright. Toka and Razar. There's no pizza here. Shit. I usually do end up dying on these guys. I wonder when they. Oh shit! Watch out for the door. Yeah, there you go. so funny. They're doing, like, wrestling moves and shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot they do this. <laughs> you bastards. Oh, my God. I'm just getting racked here. No! There. Alright, he's gone. To a little tortoise. These live streams come with free pizza. That would be nice, Johnny Faye. I would love to have a free pizza right now. Oh, a little puppy. And always save your pizzas until your last couple health bars. You, we need more Ace Duck in this game. Yes, Ace Duck. And Usagi Yojimbo. Come on. And Mondo Gecko. Where are they? Come on. Ground Shock. 
Actually, Ground Chuck, I think, is in the um, Manhattan Project, which you have to give him credit for getting fucking Ground Chuck out there. Gotta give those game designers credit for using obscure characters. I know they're robots, and I guess. Well, in the cartoon, they're robots. But it'd be funny if they all had names, kind of like Double Dragon. Linda. I guess there's different types of foot soldiers, is, is the thing. These guys are pain in the ass. Let's see if the jump kick will get him up. I guess you gotta do the, like, major, the major attack. No, fucking shit! I didn't know I wouldn't get a chance to get it. That sucks. Alright. And this is the thing that sends you... ...for in time. Go ahead, Shredder. That's one. Shit. I wish I would have gotten that pizza. Switch night. No rolling rock. Well, I don't even see one. Prehistoric Turtlesaurus. Yeah. Two hundred million BC. All right, hang on a second.
All right, so this is the, we've, we're, we've now traveled back in time to the prehistoric era. Oh, an extra life. So it's every 200. You should see I just hit 400. I, or, I, I believe it's every 200. I don't think it's every 400. We'll find out at 600. I'm sure we'll not be this level. If there's 200 foot soldiers per level, that would be a lot. The foot stinks! Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Ha 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 ha! Oh, these, look at these weapons these guys got now. They're pulling out the heavy guns. And I guess the difference is I uh, the well, I think the arcade game it's four players, is it not? And then this is it's only two, or is the arcade game just two players? I, I don't quite remember. I know that the arcade game is, but Turtles in Time, I'm not sure. Screw you, General Crag. It's actually just the Brock Warriors. Arcade was four players? Okay. I don't really remember. I just gotta blue those guys up. Oh, okay, here's how we're gonna do this. Come on, hit somebody else. Oh, it did blow him up. Ha! Good. These are my least favorite dudes in the game. These guys that block. There we go. But if you hit him like that, it's hot back there. Death Mountain back there. There, you're looking for the Zelda reference, right? Multiple Death Mountains or Mount Doom, which I guess is what they based. I wonder how much of the Legend of Zelda is based off of Lord of the Rings. You guys are gonna get like all of it. <laughs> Magical rings. This guy's usually pretty tough. One of my favorite characters, though. He does this um, spin attack thing on the ground, which is horrible. He's probably going to do it right here. Here he goes, right? There he goes, that thing. Oh, actually, I think he does another thing too. He spun around on the ground. I guess it's just that. There he goes. Alright, he wasn't too bad, actually. I have not today, puppy girl. Now, 
Space Ace for Super Nintendo. Yeah. Here we go. Traveling in time for no reason. You're getting pizza? I'm making everybody order pizzas. The pizza delivery scale is rising in this country. I guess all over the world. <laughs> because who, who here is watching from outside the U.S.? I'd like to know. I don't really have a good grasp. Uh, I know I get a lot of um, international viewers on, uh, on, the, on the YouTube gaming, but I guess there's probably a lot here. Canada, somebody's from Canada. Germany. Oh, I got somebody watching from Germany. Another Canada, New Jersey. Outside again, Sweden. You want bomb. <laughs> it's from Sweden. Netherlands. So we do have a lot of international viewers. I always wonder how weird it is for international viewers to, to watch me, because I have a very dry, sarcastic sense of humor, and I, I feel like a lot of the sarcastic statements that I say probably don't translate well. Coast <laughs> attitude. Shit. Look at this one thing left. If I can get to a pizza, that would be fantastic right now. And there's gonna be none near me, but I might get to 600. Oh, well, that'll do it. Didn't expect that. Giant cannonball flies out of the sky. Oh, that helped though. I'm definitely gonna have to use a continue at some point. Come on, guys, they're gonna come over the edge, right? They come over the edge at some point. There we go. These guys are easy enough though. Like, I want to use it for tougher guys. Alright, let's see if I can get anything good. Yeah. Come on. Complete fucking waste. I was hoping I could get some tougher foot soldiers with that. Now I know, I guess. Like that! Couldn't I have it for that guy? Come on. Throwing his fucking... Whatever they are. Oh my god, see? This is what... Please don't spawn me around top of the pizza. Oh my god. They give you that bomb thing at the worst time. These guys are gonna fucking kill me, huh? Actually, if I even make it to be Bob and Rocksteady, oh my god. Try to get in one hit before I grab the pizza. Like, let them hit me once. Hopefully, that doesn't kill me right off the bat. Fuck. No, it killed me right off the bat. I thought maybe I could manage one hit. Damn it. Oh, that's from the movie. That's cool. Damn it. I thought I was gonna be slick there and get the pizza. I should have just got it. Should've just got it. Uh. That's too bad. Did they 
could take away more health than I thought. I wonder how many bars of energy they take away if you get hit by them. Obviously more than three. That should make sense, they're a boss. Warm at the camera. Those scallywags. Sugar me timbers. What are your pirate phrases over there? Other than R. Oh, I forgot about that move. But that um that takes energy away, so you don't want to be doing that too much. And by the way, those planks come up. Okay, fuck these guys. I don't like those yellow dudes. He needs to die. Such a slow motion on that. Almost hit the plank. Land lovers. <laughs> Are ye landlubbers? Yeah. Fuck! Fuck! I was just gonna say, I wanted to try to make it through pizza on that. On those. Yeah. That energy bar. Yeah. I know this much, I'm getting this. So I heard if you kill Rocksteady before you kill Bebop, he kills him. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. Head for Rocksteady instead. For non Ninja Turtle fans, Rocksteady is the Rhino. Or maybe I'll just try to kill either one of them I can. That might work better. I don't know this thing so fucking hard. Come on. Okay, let's see if it happens. Oh, he, it is gonna happen, huh? Rocksteady first. Skull and crossbones. Hey Mike, when do you think you first played this game? Um, whenever I bought it, when it came out. Um, I think I, I played, I must have played the arcade game first. 
Did the arcade game come out earlier? Uh, well, I think it would have. But, um... Brandy My Shell at Wounded Knee. Uh, I played the arcade game, and then I played this. So, whenever it came out, I, this is one of the games I actually I own for Super Nintendo. So, probably the year it came out. I don't know how many of you guys, uh, you know, I just started streaming on Twitch again for the first time in a few years, so I don't know how many of you guys follow me, but, uh, but you can follow me, <laughs> shameless plug, if you happen to be in the chat, or don't, because a lot of people might not be interested, because I play a lot of retro games, and apparently... Playing retro games is not super popular on Twitch, so if you don't want to see a lot of retro games, then I guess don't. But, you know, I a lot of people are playing, you know, I don't know, a lot of other stuff and more modern games. I have been playing Dark Souls, though. I mean, that's relatively modern. I do want to play Dark Souls 3. There is modern stuff I want to play. I want to, I want to play that Spider-Man PS4 game coming out. And I want to play um, Red Dead Redemption 2. So there is there is things that I do want to play that are modern. But the majority of streams that I do are uh, are retro streams. And I just got a modded Coleco Vision for RGB. Um, so pretty soon here, I am planning to do some Coleco Vision streams. If you guys are. <laughs> Now, now I'm gonna get no followers, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I feel like I wanted to do some ColecoVision streams, and you guys know that uh, I already do Atari 2600 live streams and stuff like that. So yeah, if you're interested, a lot of retro game streams. And this has the alligator. I don't know if he comes out right here, but this is Leatherhead. Let's see, does this keep going? Or is this where he pops out? This might not be where he pops out, honestly. So I should get the pizza. Hey! Speaking of Red Dead Redemption, we got a Western thing going on right here. Love that game, by the way. It has such awesome, like, backgrounds and graphics and, and stuff. The Smurfs was a great game on ColecoVision. I own the Smurfs, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, wait, fight? Oh, yeah. So it wants me to keep going, so I'm gonna grab the pizza. The Smurfs are assholes. Will you play Commodore 64 games? Um, on stream, uh, I'd like to. I'd have to find a way to set that up. I do have a Commodore 64, but I'm not exactly sure. Cole Leak O. Yeah. Leatherhead's coming out. Yeah, not yet. Atari Jaguar CD episode where James played Highlander is one of the funniest things ever. Yeah, that was. I don't know what you're talking about. That was funny. <clears throat> Fireworks! Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Oh, shit. If I can just get these guys like this. There we go. Oh, what? He doesn't come out here either? Jeez. It's further than I thought. Is he going to come out right here? See, there's still a foot soldier. You know what? I'm gonna get it now and not be stupid. Cause this guy's even stronger, right? So. This guy actually says a, like a curse word in the show, believe it or not. If you guys watch the um, like animation glitches or something that we did for the show, he says something. I don't. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but it's like he says some like dirty word or something in, in the show. Which you would never even like know, but from watching all the episodes of Ninja Turtles, I happen to point that out. Oh, you know another thing we did was every time there was any kind of animation glitch, like for example, if they had so Donatello has the purple. I'm Donatello right now, so he has the purple mask, right? 
So when you're watching the cartoon, sometimes they would get the wrong colors for the wrong turtles. Like they might put Donatello in um, an orange mask or something. Stuff like that, or like, sometimes it's even crazier, like, the, the turtles would be like, their head would be missing, or like, just completely like wrong things, or like, or you know what another thing they always got messed up was the, uh, their weapons, like Donatello uses the bow, sometimes he'd be holding the sigh or something like that. The Donkey Kong game? Uh, Donkey Kong on, um, Coleco? Raph was the best. Uh, Roderick09 says donations. So as of right now, Roderick, uh, if you scroll down, there's a donation thing with Scrooge McDuck. Neon Knight Riders. This is one of the levels that's not in the... Um, that's not in the arcade game, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, but as far as donation goes, I'm not... Uh, I don't have like the subscriptions yet, but hopefully I'll get that at some point. That would be nice. But um, but yeah, for right now, there's a, there's a little Scrooge McDuck thing down there. In the meantime. If you're interested in that. Gotta get the money, get the Scrooge's money. Now it's gonna spin in a second. This always reminded me of, um, I was gonna say R-Type, but not R-Type, F-Zero. Which, by the way, I was almost thinking of streaming F-Zero. If you guys want to see it, we have F-Zero, which I love F-Zero. Such a good game. Oh, fuck. Wait, what? Oh, you have to hit them. I thought you used to throw them. Totally F-Zero, by the way. Love that background. I love this thing that they have the turtles sort of flying on here. That was not a thing in the cartoons or a toy, I don't think. This like flying disc thing, I think that was just created for this game, which is kind of neat. It's like a flying uh, hoverboard, like Back to the Future. I guess and yes, have classics like this. Oh yeah, the SNES Classic, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, this game was not included on the SNES Classic, so another reason to own an actual Super Nintendo that you can put cartridges into. I am playing right now on the Super NT, though, I will say. So now we're fighting Krang's body, much smaller than on the first stage, but you must remember that Krang's body could actually change in size, much like Megatron turning into gun form and going into Starscream's hand, which the chat likes to mention a lot. I feel like I'm not really hitting him, am I? There we go. Oh, you gotta be on the ground level, so the kicking doesn't seem to work. Basically, don't be greedy. Don't try to get him too many hits. Oh, shit, I'm gonna get hit of here. Or not. Or not! Not! Speaking of shit pickle, I do want to try to do fucking shit pickle. I do want to do shit pickle emotes when I get the emotes. If I get the emotes. Damn. There we go. The chat was talking about whether or not, or what emotes you want besides. Oh, there's Crank. Hit him! what emotes you want besides shit pickle, but I could just do multicolored shit pickles, but let me know what other emotes you might want. Cinder Mask or emotes for the win. The mighty shit pickle. Krang is the rocketeer. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to the UFO, right? The space station. I should pick up being a Wawa cup. I like that. Cause that could be my emote. Where no turtle has gone before. They do talk about Star Trek in the Turtles cartoon quite a bit. There are episodes that are like based off the names of Star Trek episodes. I forget what they are off the top of my head, but but there are. And I think the Turtles sometimes mention Star Trek. And actually, even in um, Turtles 3, the movie, they make a joke about Star Trek. Say, so kind of like Star Trek, guys, or whatever the hell it says. He says, it doesn't say like it's Star Trek time. Is that what it says? I think he says it's Star Trek time. Mr. Bucket emote? That's not a bad idea. Bugs Bunny. It's Star Trek time. Yeah, that's what he says. It's Star Trek time. That's so bad. It's like almost as bad as in uh, Star Trek First Contact when they're like, Are you guys on some kind of Star Trek? I like Star Trek First Contact, but it's got some lines that are less than desirable. That's what you say. Oh, I should have used it there. Should have used it there! Knew it. This is what, you know, playing the game through and knowing what's coming is good for. Knowing what you're doing. Oh, look at that guy. That animation, he gets his uh, axe stuck in the ground. Look at that. I never noticed that before. That's funny. Very cartoony animations. All different types of foot soldiers. Nunchuck. Now, a little fact about Nunchucks in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, in the first, I think, two, two or three seasons of the cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo, everybody knows, has the Nunchucks. But later on in the show, um, I think they thought Nunchucks were too dangerous. So, they actually changed Michelangelo's weapon to like a, a rope or something. Which was, you know, and he kept that throughout the rest of the se series. You never see him with the nunchucks again. And, um, yeah. So, but if you want to see something really funny, there is a video somewhere on YouTube called, I think it's called Ninja Turtles Use Their Weapons. Which is hilarious because they just, they just kill Shredder. <laughs> they just, like, Leonardo just takes his, um, katana and just like puts it right through their shredder and it's like all right well hey guys why didn't we do that earlier and then they just become like mass murderers and go to jail it's really funny you, you guys should watch that <laughs> that's a little gory so watch out Shit. channel shock come on hit this guy look at look at me look at these guys these guys have just been my vice for this fucking game Oh my god, I cannot get by these guys. You know it's funny, I don't remember everything. But who knows, I haven't played this in a while. Is this guy still gonna do it? Yeah, he is. He's the worst. They're the worst. This is like that thing they used to have in Epcot Center. The musical tones, which I'm sure nobody remembers. But it was in Journey into Imagination, which was cool. The figment thing. They don't have it anymore though. Because Disney likes to change stuff. Such as right now, Disney is changing the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, if you didn't know. They actually, um, I don't know if you guys heard about that, but it used to be the pirates would chase around the women because they're pirates, you know, they're supposed to, that's the thing. It's, you're supposed to be reliving the pirate days, you know? But then they changed the ride to um, the women are chasing the pirates with brooms or something like that. So they changed that a while back, which whatever. 
but now they're taking out there there's a there's a pirate woman that's like lifting her dress up a little bit but not like anything great like she's showing her knee or something like that and they're taking that out now and it's really like aren't they like just changing history by doing that i don't know i'm not a huge fan of the changes and i'm especially not a huge fan of them taking out um maelstrom and replacing it with frozen because i went on that frozen ride and I'm sorry, but the Maelstrom ride was better. They should have kept it. And and by the way, I I kind of liked Frozen, so it's not because I didn't like Frozen. I just think the Maelstrom ride was better. It had better effects and with the trolls and everything. They should have kept it. In my opinion. And now I'm gonna have to do this again. I'm doing terrible today. Darby, where no turtle has gone before. Frozen's cool. I hate what they did to the Star Wars and Marvel comics. I should do a hard run of this game at some point. Which I have done before, but I think when I was a kid. Isn't it funny when you get older? Do you, feel, do you guys feel like you get worse at video games as you get older? Sometimes I feel like I get better, and other some days I feel like I'm better, and other days I feel like I'm worse. Today I'm feeling like I'm worse. You know what I have to say? I was impressed with myself for beating them. Uh. I was impressed with myself, guys. Just pat myself right on the back. Uh, gun, I think, or no, Gun Smoke, Gun Dot Smoke, the NES game. Have you guys ever played that? It's a tough game. I was able to beat that one. Which is, it's a good game too. I would, I would recommend trying it. That was, that was a day when I was doing well. Curious to see what you guys have to say about getting older and playing games. Maybe have better reflexes when you're a kid, I don't know. Okay, stop coming for a second, let me see what you guys are saying. Do you always use Dawn? Oh, in, in this game I tend to, yeah. I hate to say it, but I haven't played a lot of video games a lot because of time. I was impressed with myself after beating zombies. Zombies ate my neighbors. It only took me 20 years. <laughs> that game is really hard. That's uh, it's a good game, but that's that's tough for sure. Should do Sunset Riders. Sunset Riders is great, and there's different versions: arcade, Super Nintendo, and Genesis. I'm worse at new games because I'm so used to retro. Says Witch Knight. I feel very much the same. I, I can. It's it's a harder learning curve for me because I'm used to. You know, NES, SNES, and um, Genesis, and, you know, that era. Um, but, I mean, I did play games through. Like, I, I did play, like, I had GameCube, and I had, you know, the different systems and stuff, PlayStation 2. But it's kind of like, even, like, when PlayStation 2 was, like, popular, I was still playing NES and, you know, Super Nintendo and stuff. Because it's kind of like, there's so many... You know, I, I feel like a lot with a lot of stuff that I like to be sort of a completionist to a degree. Because it's like, even when the PlayStation 2 came out, there were still a lot of games for NES that I had not played before. So I was like still working on NES when, when like PlayStation 2 came out. And by the way, I'm still working on NES to this day. That's one of the things James and Mike Mondays is about, going back and not only playing the classics, but playing you know, the games that you didn't get a chance to play, you know, which we've, we've said before. But, um, but yeah, it's like, I don't know how you can ever, so sometimes you just have to, like, jump ahead, I guess, because there's just so many games you can never get to them all. And who would have ever thought, back when we were kids, back in the 80s, that there was, like, 800-something, these guys, like, I can't get away from them. Fucking, they kill me every time. 
second. I'm gonna start using my heavier attack on those guys, because it's like... They're the ones I have a hard time with. It's like nothing else, really, that I might have a hard time with other than those guys. Maybe a little bit with the guys that block, but it's about it. I have to grab it. Right. I'm, I'm gonna save the bomb on this part. I, must, I hope I didn't pass it early. But there's a bomb that I think is coming out. Wish it would come up when the yellow dudes were around. I throw those fucking green things. It goes up? Seriously? What kind of ball goes up? I'm sure the chat has answers to that. <laughs> what kind of balls go up, guys? Come on, chat. <laughs> My balls go up. I have a piece of wood, and he has a rocket launcher. It's great. It's real. Oh, now they have laser guns. I'm a turtle with a stick. Come on. What do you expect me to do? You guys have. You guys are made of stone and have lasers. Sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. Alright, you know what? Let's just get it. I actually think I picked one of the... One of the blocking guys. So that was good. That was on the side of the screen. This I'll take at least a hit on. No shredder. You shell hands are dead. I don't do a crying voice, unfortunately. I wish I could. All right, I'm grabbing it because I'll die. <laughs> You'll be dead. I was like hitting him before. Oh man. This is a cool device that Krang's in, which isn't in the show or a toy, I don't believe. The run and hit works pretty well. Oh no, not these fuckers. Dropping 
Ugh. Got more? Yep. He's just gonna keep dropping them. So stupid. Got him. Oh, he's doing this shit. Come on. Come on. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Come on, come on. Come on. Love that Joker. Krang is cool, he doesn't need gray matter. Love that Joker. Hey, Nikki Fog. Hey, Dark. Dark Haas Lumix. <laughs> Some of the usernames are hard to say. Ninja Turtle for Super Smash Brothers. That would be neat. All right. <laughs> Turtle soup, my favorite. Shredder just turned into Batman. Tonight, I dine on turtle soup. Bing Apple, 3 a.m. Prehistoric turtle saurus. Bury my shell at wounded knee. What else was there? Neon Knight Riders. Super shit! I'm making fun of myself. Come on. He's fast, I will say. your liberty. Get Ghostbusters too. Lance can't chill. -na 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 -na. This game's so good. Fun the whole way through. Hi Splinter. Master Splinter. I l absolutely love the end of the first movie um, when they fight Shredder. That movie is so fantastic. If you have not seen the Ninja Turtle movie from 1990, Stop what you're doing and go watch it because one of the best. One of the best. And that whole the, that whole end sequence and just it's amazing. So that was that. I'd like to play this game again on hard at some point. But uh fun game. Can't go wrong with turtles in time. You need some teddy grams. Can't get enough of that golden Chris. Zuba dooba dooba doo Will there be a Ninja Gaiden 3 Twitch stream? Uh, I haven't uh, played Ninja Gaiden 3 in a little while. I could, 
Um, I actually have Ninja Gaiden. Uh, I'll, actually, speaking of it, I want to show you guys something. A couple things, Ninja Gaiden, actually. So hang on one second before I go, because somebody is asking who was that that asked about Ninja Gaiden. Uh, J S B the it guy. <laughs> hard hard name to say. So, for Ninja Gaiden, uh, let me get this so you can see it. For Ninja Gaiden, okay, Ninja Gaiden stuff, I have a couple things. I have Ninja Gaiden for Sega Master System. It's like the color is very washed on this, I don't know why. I probably need better lighting. Um, Ninja Gaiden. Sega Master System. I want to do that. These are ones that I haven't done. I've played a lot of the Ninja Gaiden games. Oh, I've done all the NES ones, so if you want to see that, check out Cinemassacre Plays for the archives. This is a Ninja Gaiden game for um, um, Turbo Graphics. Okay. For PC Engine, actually. Play that on the Turbo Duo. And then finally, uh, another one that I have not done. Ninja Gaiden, one second, I should take this out of the box to show you. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy for Super Nintendo, um, which I'd also like to mess with. So I haven't done any of those Ninja Gaiden things. Um, but if you do want to see me go through the NES games or even the Xbox uh, game, uh, check again, check out Cinemassacre Plays. Thank you guys so much for watching. I might do, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I was thinking about F-Zero. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed Turtles in Time. PC Engine was the best. SNES. Ninja Gaiden sucks. You think it sucks? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't, I haven't gone through the Super Nintendo one, so I don't know. So maybe you're right. Could you play Donkey Kong Country 2 sometime? Says... S-T-E-X-O-R-19. Um, I can get this, I can grab it. I actually have it right here. Donkey Kong Country 2. So, uh, that could definitely be possible. Ninja Trolls movie is the greatest. I totally agree. Fraggle 68, it's, it's up there. It's definitely really good. When would I be back on? Uh, I don't know. Probably a little later. Batman Forever. No, not Batman Forever. You don't want that. Batman Returns, though, uh, is is really actually pretty fun. Like, beat em up game. Uh, I actually did that with Ryan on the channel. You might want to check that out. It's, it's pretty cool. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. That Power Rangers game? Okay. Wind Waker. Oh, yeah, Wind Waker. Um, yeah, I, I was thinking about doing Wind Waker HD. That's definitely a possibility because I do love Wind Waker, and I haven't played Wind Waker in a long time, so I would like to do that. i got to find the map because uh, the... I wonder if I have it somewhere. The, um, the GameCube version had a map with it. And I like actually using the map to go to each of the squares on the in, in Wind Waker. But anyhow, because there's a lot of things to collect in Wind Waker, and I like sort of being a, a completionist with that. If I do Wind Waker, I'm probably going to want to get everything, um, which is going to take a lot of time. But that's one of your favorite games ever. It's it's good. But all right, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And the, oh, again, this is. Uh, this is on Twitch, so it is Mike Matei Live on Twitch, which you can see right there. Alright, thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching.